Hi, I'm Katie and I'm going to show you how to decorate a cake with cream cheese frosting. And more specifically, I'm using the best cake ever created by man, a carrot cake. Because nothing goes better with cream cheese frosting than carrot cake. So you can see I have two layers. They're about, I'd say eight or nine inch layers, but you can use any size that you like to feed as many people as you need to. And all I did was take my rubber spatula with a big dollop of frosting and put it right over the middle. And I'm using my offset. This is a large offset spatula to just gently push the frosting across the surface. This is gonna be the center of my cake. Now, if you have time, a good idea is always to chill this just so that it won't kind of bulge out of the sides as you try to decorate, but we're gonna go right for it. So, I'm gonna to top it off with my next layer of carrot cake. And don't be afraid to just kind of pick it up and go with it. But nice and even, right? Make sure it's level, beautiful. And you can see I'm working on my turntable with just a little, little smooth cake plate. To use a regular plate, it's fine too. And same thing, big dollop of frosting. Do not fear the frosting. Take your large offset and just push, 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 push. And you can see it's already covering the top of my cake. If you wanted to, sometimes it's really beautiful to leave it open face. So if I was doing that, I would kind of stop pushing right when I get to the edge and just leave it that way and just chill it slightly so it'll set. But I'm gonna cover the entire cake, so a little bit more frosting. And you could always take some off later if you feel like there's too much. But just push it around. And you can see I'm turning the turntable with one hand and just kind of moving the frosting with the other. And the great thing about cream cheese frosting is classically we're just looking for like a very swoopy, kind of a rustic look. So all I'm doing is angling my spatula and all of that frosting that's kind of hanging over the edge. I'm just pushing it down so it covers the sides. You can see I'm not being too particular about it. Just push it. Now if I wanted to, I could take this and just kind of make a swooping pattern. Or if you have a little offset spatula, sometimes that's even more fun to kind of go in and make beautiful ripples. Don't be too particular about it. Just nice. And you'll see, like, you always wonder when you go into the bakery, how do they make that swoopy thing? It's a little offset. You can use a spoon too, is great. Anything you want, just a nice swoop. And then down the sides, the same way. You can see I'm just sort of making like, almost like a, if I was writing a C or a U. Just kind of swooping in. That's it, nice and rustic. If I wanted to clean some of this out, now's the time you can kind of go in and take some off if you feel like there's too much in some spots. I'm just kind of running my spatula around. And how delicious does that look? That's the kind of cake I'd want to dive into. There you go, how to do a great cake with cream cheese frosting.